Taiwan. What an exciting destination that was. Absolutely fantastic. And I've got to say, it's one of those places in uh, Southeast Asia that are just so friendly. The people are just so friendly. You just warm to them. They warm to you too. And that's very much reflected in the food. It's quick, it's casual, it's easy. It's done with a smile, but it tastes absolutely terrific. It does require a little bit of uh, care and care in being able to marinate your pork just for about 10 or 15 minutes really does make all the difference. Marinating, simple. I've got a bit of uh, corn flour here. It's a real kind of a, it's one of those traditional things actually, when you go down to that part of the world, they kind of like to put a little bit of corn flour in there, followed by a little bit of soy sauce, about a tablespoon of soy sauce. Uh, same quantity of uh, sherry. I'm using sherry, it's what we've got here, it's what's available to us. Okay, a couple of teaspoons of sesame oil. That's it. Just stir that round. In with your pork. That's where I like to use my hands. And just Allow that to marinate. The great thing about this type of dish, you can do this with a bit of beef, you can do this with a, with a bit of chicken. Just allowing those flavours to kind of, if you like, infuse a little bit with the meat, just to really add a great bit of flavour. Well, I'm glad to say the old pork's been marinating now for a good 20 minutes and it really has taken on all, the, all those wonderful flavours. and. Oh, when you smell it, it takes you right back to sort of wandering around the streets of Taipei. Get your wok nice and hot. Uh, don't mess about when I say nice and hot. You really want it to be hot. You want to put your meat in there and you want to sear your meat straight away. All right, and we're going to pop a little bit of oil in there. I like to use a uh, little bit of a ground nut oil. The old spring onions. You can see that I like to cut those on an angle. Just like that. And that, uh, that will go in a little bit later. Okay, let's get that uh, pork in there now. that froth. A touch more chilli that I'm going to do. Okay, I've got these uh, whole chillies. They are searingly hot. You know about chillies. Um, not all of them. I mean, you can actually get some chillies that add a touch of uh, sweetness to it. But these little ones, generally, um, they're scotch bonnet peppers. Uh, the kind of bird's eye type chillies. Oh, 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 they do pack a punch. Um, I'm just going to leave them in rings. Just cut them like that. So they're lovely rings. It does add a bit of spice to it. Um, but I do add a touch of uh, sugar a little bit later on when I'm doing the old spring onions and chilli. So kind of, uh, it's not as harsh as you think. And of course, uh, the old basil. And I want you to leave those juices. So we're just using a spoon to take out the pork and leave those lovely juices which have come from the marinade behind because let that bubble up a bit, throw in the old spring onions and chilli, touch of sugar and boy, will that be fantastic. Okay. All right, here we go. You can see that sizzling. That's what you're looking for. You want that little bit of sizzle. You want that caramelisation just to start happening in the pan. And then we can throw in the spring onions in with our chilli here. I'm going to add a few more of those chilli flakes, not too much. All we're doing is waiting for this to wilt down. Look at them, look what's happening there. A little bit of sugar. That's okay, just add a touch of sweetness. Okay. If you find that the pan is just a little bit hot, you know what they always say, is you can add just a few more of these lovely pork juices. A little touch of water, here they are again. Look. And all of that goes back in. That's fantastic. And of course, our lemon. A 
back in with our pork. And once that basil goes in there, don't mess about, just serve it. There you go. Oh, Taipei, Taiwan. Go on, treat yourself.